In this video, we are doing some hard learning when it comes to tear out in White Oak. Today we're looking at the front panel and I want to get the joinery done for most of these drawer dividers. For some reason, I've managed to place the thickest drawers on top here. They're of course supposed to be on the bottom. These parts are the horizontal drawer dividers and what I'm calling the style. And as you can see, we get some tear out even though I have a brand spanking new blade for my miter saw. Here I'm obsessing about getting the parts flush in the front. That's why I'm cutting the front part of the tenon first. But let me tell you, I would never do it in this order again. It just generated so much more work. And it probably bit, didn't get any better than it would have been if I just cut both parts at the same time. If I'm ever doing this again, I'm cutting both parts of this tenon at the same time. One huge takeaway for me in this project was the fact that I get so much tear out from white oak. So here I am scoring as deeply as I can. This is the type of tear out I'm getting. And as you see here, the left piece was not scored before I made the cut while the right piece was. As an extra tear out precaution, I'm using a wasteboard of MDF against the crosscut sled fence as well. One of the challenges with tenons is the fact that the effective length of the part is between the shoulder. That is why I'm using a spacer here, because math and measurement says yes, but wood says no. And here you see the stop block is below the tenon. So it hits the shoulder of the part. The mortises or grooves are only 6mm deep and my grooving blade is 6mm. So I just crept up on the cut with my miter saw. And of course there's an affiliate link to the CMT grooving blade in the video description. Nomad makes. So this is the upper rail or stretcher. And I'm cutting the mortises by hand. Next time I guess I'll cut the mortises first and then adjust the tenon. These MDF sheets are mock-ups for the drawer fronts and I'm using them to align the front and also to get the horizontal drawer dividers coplanar because I think it will re look really bad if they are just a little bit off.
you're probably see me using this Bocco combination square a lot in this build. I have several of these, and it's great to have more than one so you can kind of store the measurement, so to speak. And of course, there's affiliate links in the usual place. To get the correct depth of the mortise, I'm just drawing a line the correct length down on the chisel, and that worked really well. So I'm leaving the tenon slightly fat and then adapting it to get the faces of the parts flush. The tenons on the upper rails need a cosmetic shoulder and we're doing this wholesale style by scoring, making a knife wall and then sawing. And this is my favorite saw, the Gyokuchi Dosuki Japanese pool saw. Forgive me if I butchered that name by the way.
So these are the legs. Well, this is the mistake I made when I did the backwards cut with the grooving blade. I cut them to this line instead of to this line. Now, the line I cut them to is actually the line that is marking where the, the taper on the legs are going to start. So that means I've got like one and a half centimeter here, a groove that I need to fill. So I've ripped and planed these strips. I'm going to chisel out this curved part here and glue in some filler strips. That needs to be done on all the legs. And then on the short or the long side of the front leg, so this is the front left leg, meaning this is the, the long side of it, the front itself, it needs to be filled here and here as well. So when I cut these legs, my reasoning was that it would be easier to fill this than to make these again and, and differentiate the parts. It's also on the inside, so it's not going to be very visible or at all, maybe. So it's basically going to be a strip. Something like this. And there will be a hole for the, for the horizontal uh, drawer divider here. So get this, I have these two 6mm chisels, and none of them are actually 6mm. One is slightly smaller and one is slightly larger. That's why you see me changing them up a bit here. And also I kind of sharpened the edge of one of them, kind of skewed, so yeah. So for the first attempt I sanded the part down on my belt and disc sander even though you can't see it in this wonderful shot. Now this whole project is going to get glued together using hide glue and here I'm dipping my toe in so to speak. This is tight bond liquid hide glue and it's more viscous than liquid to be honest so I'm keeping it in my pocket to get it a little bit more liquid. I decided to leave the rest of the repair inlays proud and then plush cut them using chisel. So that is a dry fit of the front. As you can see, I'm using these mock-ups of the drawer fronts to help uh, correct alignment of the horizontal drawer dividers there. It's time to taper the legs, and this is my tapering jig. I built it from uh, the front of an IKEA drawer, some scrap wood and a couple of toggle clamps. And it's so similar to the table saw jointing sled I made, so I just linked to that video right up here. One thing I did do was to make sure I marked the waist because it's really easy to make a mistake here and ruin the parts.
and if you made it this far here is a sneak peek on the finished front and the whole carcass glued together only the panels have been pre-finished by the way but more on that in an upcoming video but again that is it for today guys i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did please remember to leave a thumbs up if this is your first visit to my channel please consider subscribing should you want to support me the race is on to become my first ever patreon you'll find a patreon link and affiliate links to products i use and recommend below if you don't feel like that you can help by telling your friends about the channel on your social media of choice cheers guys and i'll catch you in the next one